A control layout is a great way to align controls and their labels in Microsoft Office Access forms and reports. Let me show you how easy they are to use. First, using this database, I want to create a new report based on the Customers table. I simply select the table, click the Create tab, and then click Report. Access creates a report and displays it in Layout View, where I can make design changes to the report while viewing the data. Now I'll hide the navigation pane to make some more room. See those boxes outlined in orange in the ID column? Those are the cells of a tabular control layout. A control layout is like a table that holds labels, text boxes, and other controls, and lets you align and format groups of controls more easily. There are two kinds of control layouts, a tabular layout like this one, or if I click the Arrange tab, I can choose a stacked layout, where fields are arranged so that their labels are next to them, similar to a printed form. Today I'm going to use a tabular layout. This report contains all of the fields of the Customers table, but I only want a few of the fields to be displayed. It's very easy to delete fields from a report when they're arranged in control layouts. To delete the ID column, I select the label at the top of the column, and then I press the Delete key. Notice that the remaining columns moved over to fill in the space. Without a control layout, I would have had to move the other fields over manually. There's no data in the Email address column, so I'll delete it as well. I want my report to fit the width of the page so I'll delete everything to the right of the business phone column. To do this, I hold down the Shift key, and then I click each column that I want to delete. Now I press Delete. Now you can see all of the columns on the report. Did you notice how the control layout automatically adjusted the height of each row to fit the data? Without the control layout, I would have had to do that manually. If I want to adjust the width of a column, all I have to do is click anywhere in the column and then drag the border until the column is the width that I want. To change the order of the columns, I just drag a column to where I want it. As I drag the column, a vertical insertion bar appears to show me where the column will be placed when I release the mouse button. Notice how the company label moved with the column and how the other columns automatically move to the left to fill in the gap. Adding a new field to the control layout is just as easy. I just drag it from the field list pane and drop it into the report where I want it. I can also split one control layout into two layouts. For example, I can hold down the Shift key, select the state, province, and company columns, and then on the Arrange tab, Click Tabular or Stacked. I'll click Stacked so that the two fields that I selected are converted into a stacked layout. The other fields remain in the original tabular layout. For my report, I think I'll stick to a single control layout, so I'll click Undo to return to my tabular layout. Control layouts also make it easy to add grid lines to a form or report. On the Format tab, I click Grid Lines and then select the type of grid lines that I want. I can adjust the line width, style, and color by using the other commands in the grid lines group. Now I can switch to report view and see the results.